Sega Sarah, it is me, Curtis Cuomo. <sighs> and I have got this moto Bennett ready, so. I love my mother. I hate I want to see mother. Como's in the chat, because we have the emotes now. So let's get after it and have a Good fucking bread. Um, yeah. He uh let me read this real quick. Uh half hammer or is that stuttering uh, throw mama from uh throw mama from the train? No. Uh Forever Two Wheels I know did Mersh break the group to join with Zumok? I knew six years ago ROTC wouldn't last. And I love to see all the com emojis in the chat. Thank you. That's that would be the best of it. Like when when something ends after like 10, 15 years and you go, I fucking called it. I knew it. I told you, like you said, ten years. I ago. knew Ron and Fez was over. Fez died. Fez I knew died. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, R.I.P. Fez. Um, yes. Can it be fixed? Yes. The Supreme Court is broken. That's what he's talking about. In full. Mm, I'm not sure, but I can take you through what the law is. He's going to fix the Supreme Court. Chris Cuomo, the <laughs> dumbest Guido that's ever been. I don't. It's going to fix the Supreme Court on his YouTube show. I wouldn't trust you to go in and fix a retail store's no. operations. No. What the policies are, but most importantly, what the problems are. And here's my take. The number one problem can absolutely be fixed. It's not about having the ability. It's about whether or not we have the will. The Chomo Project. Like Hold footage on. at the in this intro, him like shopping. Why? We, we need more people tweeting that at him. We really need more people tweet. I want people to keep tweeting this at Chris Cuomo until he changes his intro for us. He will. He'll change it too. Yeah. I'm Chris Cuomo. Thank you for joining me for another episode. He'll change it, but he makes it worse. He calls it Chomo Sexual Hour. <laughs> Episode of the Chris Cuomo Project, where I'm breaking down some of the- He's breaking it down. The sticky stuff that's troubling us in our society. Come? Appreciate you following, subscribing, being a critical thinker, being a free agent, wearing- wow, you know what? There's not enough busy shit happening on the screen. Holy shit, how many logos and overlays are we going to get? I love that we put all this work on our shirts, and they're really nice, and they're fucking- All the art's amazing, and Chris Cuomo just writes the text free agent on it, and still sells it for the same price that we sell our shirt, which yeah. is fucking bullshit. Your independence by getting your merch, but also by getting away from the parties. Because if you're going to be a critical thinker, you can't just be a pack. Yeah, who are you voting for next election? Biden, obviously. So I love and a lemon. Gotta get away from just, this whole party, you know, two party. Yeah, system. two party. Right, yeah. Okay. You're they call vote. me Independent Chris. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna vote for fucking the Libertarian Party. Fuck out of here. Follows people because that's your team. Okay, and that takes us to the also Chris. Traps are lacking, bro. Shrugs. Got to do those shrugs. Supreme Court. We Absolutely. have... That would fuck him. I, I, that would honestly fuck him up. Like, things like him like that, if you were to criticize a little tiny thing about him, it'd be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I fucking do more than you. That's for fucking sure. Do you see my 100-pound dumbbell? All no, right, you Chris. look great. Your calves are a little small. Like, <laughs> you whatever. kill him. You kill him. You know him. what I mean? It's just like, wait, what? Several obvious issues, okay? Uh, in no particular order. But I'll put the one that matters to me last. One, they can be there forever. Two, they yeah, don't have intended. to. Well, no, I mean, eventually they have to die. Yeah. Uh, unless they're like fucking heads in jars, like in Futurama Supreme Court. Yes. I think fucking Chief Justice Snoop Dogg was the one with a head in a jar in Futurama. Plato's Punk, Nixon 71. What day is it? <clears throat> to tell us enough about what conflicts and financial arrangements that they have. And three... There is this fugazi. Fugazi. <laughs> oh, I still gotta be Italian. He can't help it. I'm surprised he didn't do this while he was saying it. He did. Fallow. He did it under the table. Oh, he did. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like he helped his brother when he was at CNN. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like he did that under the table. Let's see. That they are above politics and never have to give any indication of how they feel about anything even when confronting the Senate body that is supposed to give 
advise and consent. So you're saying you, it shouldn't be politicized, but that we should ask them political questions. Yes. Genius. So that and we, because we can't stop it from being politicized, but we can stop people we disagree with politically. From correct. There. Okay, that makes sense. All right. It just sounds like you're sad because you're losing. Like, no, no, honestly, if the numbers were the other way, if there was more liberal justices, he'd be like, this system is perfect. You saw the founder of fathers and death. Benjamin Franklin, I'm actually related to Benjamin Franklin. Do you know that? Bernard Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Dude, there's still a really loud vocal movement of people that want to, like, double the fucking justices and shit. Oh, yeah. And, and don't think they won't do it. They'll try. To the president's nominee choice. How do they do that when they don't know a damn thing about the people? Now, the real answer to that last point is they do know. And they know what they want and they know what they like. And both sides play this game, which is why we see it play out the same way every time somebody new is selected. So much so. Yeah. That is that why Brett Kavanaugh has been such a fucking paragon of right wing values? Yeah. Shut very up, good Chris. point. Yes, yeah, exactly. That when these men and women get on the court, they vote with the party's interests that put them there so often that when they don't, you know. Justice Kennedy is not. No, hold on a second. That's not necessary. Some I will agree. There's hard lines like, you know, Ruth Bader and, and Clarence Thomas. They are very, they were, you know, she's dead. Good. And he's definitely more hard line with the party in terms of that. But there's there's moderate justice. There's always been moderate justices. Oh, them by yeah, name. Broad. Yeah, yeah. What's her name? Amy, uh, Amy Winehouse. Barrett. Yeah, Amy Winehouse. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know her name. Now she gets them coffee, right? I, I That's her job. The new black one too, all, right? Only because she's the junior one, not the because she's. What, what's the new one's name? A Katie Wakanda. What's the new black one's name? Uh, ba 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 Baba Booba. Baba Booba. Hey, do me a favor, Virgie. Google Chief Justice Baba Booba. See I what comes it's, up. I believe it's Chief yeah. Justice Saba Simba. Or do <laughs> do do Chief, just to be safe? Do Chief Justice click noises? <laughs> See what comes up. <laughs> just click into your fucking microphone. Yeah, please. Thank you. Here's what oh, search Chief Justice Clarence Thomas's worst nightmare, a black woman. <laughs> search Chief Justice and then make a bunch of Kamala noises. Yeah, see what happens. We know. SCOTUS is an easy legal walk. Wakanda Brown, thank you. It's Wakanda Brown. Look for you, okay? You just Google section, uh, Article 3, Section 1. Now, it's very interesting. The Constitution only creates, in and of itself, the Supreme Court. Did you know that? Yes! Yeah. It's like Article 3, bro. Is this like third grade? What? I feel like I'm in third grade. Right? right we know what that does. So the government's got three branches, oh, right? Oh, here we go. God so damn. you got the legislative, you got the executive, and, and then, then you the got the post one. office. The I guys think. with the roads. I think that's the post office. And then there's the post office. So there's four, really, if you think about and it. And then NASA. <laughs> but that's like its own But thing. it's space, so it doesn't count on Earth. Yeah, and it's NASA, like the CIA. They're not allowed to operate <laughs> on U.S. soil. <laughs> He's so stupid. It's a moron. The Constitution gives Congress <laughs> the ability to con create all lower courts. It's interesting. Why does the president get to he's, he's nominate literally reading uh, and they are fundamentally select a Supreme Court judge? You're reading a prep. Oh. You're reading the prep book that I got in eighth grade for midterms, and you're like, "That's oh. fascinating." That's but he fascinating didn't get to the part. He, he didn't flip the page to checks and balances. Oh like, no! Oh my God! No, no, it's just like fucking. Civics 101. You forget it's something. Chris Cuomo thinks readings for fags. Half hammer. Cuomo says so many words to convey zero message or pertinent information. It is a lot of gobbledygook, huh? Hey, listen. The only thing. Why hey, would... pal. Listen. The only thing I read is the numbers on the plates. <laughs> and my body fat percentage. And I'm doing doing four on each side. How's that sound? <laughs> huh? <laughs> we're not gonna pack the court, but we're gonna pack my bar. That have been left. Speaking of which, did you see their little uh, film trick with the, the MJF Adam Cole thing? Which when they were one? at the gym together. Oh yeah, yeah. And they did the little. They fucking zoned in so you couldn't see, see the what. Yeah. <laughs> to the body. Hamilton made a very interesting case in the Articles of Confederation. One man's perspective. That's not Hamil Hamilton. Hamilton's a Puerto Rican guy that sings. I've seen the fucking. That is play. true. He was in. He's, and he was originally from Washington Heights. Washington Heights. It was better than a body's. Because of the varied interests. You know, it reminds me of the joke. What is a zebra? It's a mulatto horse. That's what we called it in my house. Uh, Chris, I think it's pronounced zebra. Uh, thank ze you. Thank you. And the problem with zebras is it doesn't matter if it's 50-50 black or white. They're always going to identify with the black stripes. <laughs> That's why they live in Africa. <laughs>
a horse made by committee. <clears throat> okay. So I Hamilton like that believed that it was better to have the fruit of one mind, but you got to question that. Really, with something as important as a Supreme Court justice. Now, no, instead, what we should do is we should have it be even worse and let everyone kind of vote. That way we get fucking, like I said, Chief Justice fucking Snoop Dogg. For shizzle, my nizzle. No, oh, I'm fired. Why are there yeah. only nine? He's is like this a, social studies? He's like a 10 year old. <laughs> Why are there only nine? Why not 10? He's pretending he's independent and both sides are crazy, but what he's doing, he's pushing for packing the court when he says, Why are there only nine? That's not in the Constitution. Ah. Guido's, dumb Guido's trying to sound smart, I think is a kink of mine. Because I love it so much. I love it so much. So there is an ability to control. Where'd that come from? Well, just like FDR spooked Congress. Whoa, really, whoa, whoa. He's not the one that nominated Clarence Thomas. How come we kicked off you two? Yeah, when I say spooked. <laughs> Sage retard. Haven't, uh, haven't chat GPD Como in a white uh, sent it to your Twitter DM. I'll check it out. Uh, both houses. Uh, with wanting to limit how many terms a president could have as he went for four. He also tried to pack the court, which also spooked his own party. So they were able to it. put uh, a restriction in place. Now, remember this. The Supreme Court is unique in that... It's it like a regular court, but with guacamole and sour cream. <laughs> but just a dollop, because it's all empty calories. Mm -hmm. It is the ultimate form of reviewing laws, treaties, and the Constitution itself. What's interesting is that what the Supreme Court seems to do most these days this is what? He's reading off of fucking his tablet. He's reading this off of his tablet. Well, of course. Yeah, he's a moron. He's an idiot. Review the Constitution. Give him a break, Virgie. At least he's reading. Yeah, good point. He's doing the best he can. He, or what he's they call following along with his finger like a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way he knows how. So when Hamilton was talking about the Constitution... Constitutional questions that arise in legislation. Now, interestingly, that is not an enumerated power. Wow, enumerated. Word of the day calendar. Power. In the Constitution. <laughs> power is the word, yeah. <laughs> that was given by judicial decision by the Supreme Court itself in 1803, and of course, the very famous case of Marbury versus Madison that gave us the principle of judicial review. Isn't that interesting? It's that what so they seem to do most often, Is they it? were not given the know. power to do in the Constitution itself. Now, man, this is some really in-depth shit. What are we going to do next week? Read To Kill a Mockingbird? You fucking f <laughs> That's fucking nice curriculum, asshole. We tried to get him to read Lord of the Flies, but he said it was too scary. <laughs> a fact. <laughs> He's like he's like a he's like a high school like substitute teacher in history yeah. class when he comes in and it's like he can't just teach you the curriculum because he doesn't know where the last teacher left right. off so he just like so let's talk about Supreme Court. This is general fascinating we, stuff. And huh? he doesn't know and he, he he goes, "What do you guys think about it?" Miss K left her lesson plan in the desk, moron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, who said that? I did. You're a <laughs> You know, if anybody respected me to school, you'll be in big trouble. Did uh, did you ever treat a no. substitute teacher well? No. Unless, unless no. it was a hot chick. No. no. Unless it was a hot chick. It was like it was a hot chick in her twenties. You were always nice. Even to then, them. we treated her poorly, but it was in a totally different way. Yo, well, good point. <laughs> good point. Small businessmen, lone wolves. There's a live raid. We gotta find efficiencies. That's why I believe in... Look at his hat. Lone wolf. See, free agent wasn't taken off, right? Is that one of those patch hats? Yeah. D.com. I, I want you to look at something. I want you to look him doing his live read. Look at the reflection behind him. You can see him holding his phone. This is a professional live read. Yes. Okay, good. We got too much stuff to do to be hopping from site to site and interacting in different ways at different times. And D.com allows you to attract and interview and vet. And Did you have to do this right after cardio? He, yeah, that's when his mind is as fresh. He does fasted cardio, so his mind is fresh. Uh, also, if you don't give a shit about this, then why should we have to give a shit about this, Chris? 
uh, Indeed is also the number, speaking of scammers and shit, Indeed's the one of the number one sites that scammers use to send, like, fake, oh, we have a job for you. And yeah. And people, yeah. Same place. And right now, because they want to hook me up. I mean, unless you want us to do live reads, and it's, like, the best, safest site, whatever. Yeah, it's awesome. Because they're trying to help my business. Uh, you get a $75 credit if you go to Indeed.com slash Chris C. He does his live reads walking around so you can see his beautiful property. Uh, and it'll be a boost. Is there anything better your... than a website that's like, hey, we're going to help you get a job, but you got to pay us? N yeah, no, it's the best. H hiring uh, that you do on this. Is there anything better than a live read without eye contact? Site. <laughs> Three million businesses. It's like if Thomas Murphy was doing a live read. He's Just reading it. He's looking Indeed. down at the notes. Dot com. Oh, my God. So obviously... Right. They're doing something right. All right, we and saw what your doing property. Is they're creating a fish. That's what he's doing, right? He's showing off his property. Cities for small businesses. So we got too much coming at us. Too hey, much I'm to not going to keep this boat dock exit for nothing. I need someone. I need some to pay for that. All right, we're done. Come on. The rest is him. It's basically the same thing. Him saying a lot of words with no actual information. Um, he's pretty stupid.